Let reports Thursday that opposition leaders Usman Sonko and Basiru Fa, pastel party candidate in the March 24 presidential election, have been freed. President Macky Sall had called on Parliament to pass an amnesty bill for acts committed in connection with political demonstrations since 2021. Sanko's name was removed from competing in the elections after he was convicted for having sex with a minor. He had said that the charges were all politically motivated to keep him from running for president. Senegalese political analyst Ibrahim Khan tells me he hopes that Sanko's release might inject renewed enthusiasm into the campaign with about a week before Senegalese vote. You know, it was in the air for the last 48 hours. The president himself yesterday, I think, mentioned to his people that as soon as uh, the law is uh, published in the National Gazette, uh, they should be free. And today, around 6, 7, we got the information that finally, because the the law was published in the Gazette today, they should be free tonight and just around 8 o'clock. The news happened that finally Sonko and Jomai Fai were both free. Now a new page of our political history will open during the election period. And I'm sure that uh, the release of the candidate of the party and the leader of the party will really galvanize their followers, but also change the tone of the campaign because... uh, (laughs) During this Ramadan period, the campaign was just, uh, but now it will be very, very interesting because uh, Jomai and Sonko will go and meet with their followers, will visit the whole country, and I think it will change the tone of the campaign. As you said, uh, this news broke uh, in the night in Senegal. I I wonder, was there any uh, reaction in the streets uh, from the people that you observe? Oh, yes. You know, I live in the same area with Sonko. So far, there are a lot of noises, uh, you know, uh, cars, uh, you know, some motorcycles. They are all going towards Sonko's house, making noises. And people are coming from everywhere to meet with him at his home. Maybe in the next 48 hours, they will determine what to do for the campaign. Because now that they are free... There is no complaints filed against them before any tribunal. They seem to be normal citizens, and they can uh, do what they want uh, during this campaign. And the one who is a candidate has a long, uh, almost five days to capture, because the campaign started on Saturday. So he has a lot of things to do to visit the country and uh, to get ready for the next uh, Sunday, not this Sunday, but the following Sunday election. So I think it's good for the democracy. We didn't want this election to come to this way, but uh, that was the case. And now we all hope that the campaign will be less violent. The campaign will be a campaign of ideas, of programs, rather than the campaign of uh, insulting each other and other things. So before I let you go, we know that uh, Sonko could not run because of the alleged criminal conviction. Uh, Basiru Fa was the uh, candidate for the Pastev party. Is this likely to change now, or would Sonko be allowed to run? No, no. Sonko can... You know, the, the 19 people who were accepted by the Constitutional Council are the one who will be campaigning. Sonko cannot, but Sonko can help to galvanize the people during his campaign because he's so popular. Ibrahim Khan is a Senegalese political analyst. He was speaking with us from the capital. Doctors at Kenya's public hospitals began a nationwide strike Thursday, accusing the government of failing to implement a raft of promises from a corrective bargaining agreement signed in 2017 after a 100-day strike that saw people dying from lack of care. The Kenya Medical Practitioners Pharmacists and Dentists Union said they went on strike to demand comprehensive medical cover for the doctors and because the government has yet to post 1,200 medical interns. Dr. Davji Humji, Secretary General of KM. 
PDU said 4,000 doctors took part in the strike despite a labor court order asking the union to put the strike on hold to allow talks with the government. Dr. Dennis Miskela, Deputy Secretary General of the Union, said they would disregard the court order the same way the government had disregarded three court orders to increase basic pay for doctors and reinstate suspended doctors. Ms. Keller said medical interns make up to 27% of the workforce in Kenya's public hospitals and their presence means more sick people are being turned away from hospitals. Some doctors, however, have remained on duty to ensure patients in the intensive care units don't die. In an interview with leading broadcaster Citizen TV, Ms. Keller said, Doctors were committing suicide out of work related frustration, while others have had to fundraise to get treated for sickness due to lack of comprehensive health coverage. The impact of the strike was felt across the country, with many patients left unattended or being turned away from hospitals across the East African nation. Pauline Wanjiru said she brought her 12-year-old son for treatment on his broken leg, which had started to produce a smell, but she was turned away from a hospital in Kakamega County in western Kenya. In 2017, doctors at Kenya's public hospitals held a 100-day strike the longest ever held in the country, to demand better wages and for the government to restore the country's dilapidated public health facilities. They also demanded continuous training and, of, and hiring of doctors to address a severe shortage of health professionals. At the time, public doctors who train for six years in university earned a basic salary of US dollar 400 to 850 a month, similar to some police officers who train for just six months. Thank you so much for watching and peace.